Hi, Matthias here from Pine Grow. A while ago, Sridhar from the Dynamic WordPress group came up with an in initi initiative to implement the same website design as a WordPress site using a variety of different approaches and page builders, and then to compare the result. So the source project is a static HTML website from Shuffle and the site is built with Tailwind CSS framework version 2. Uh, so that sounded like a very fun project. So I signed up to build the site using Pinegrow Web Editor. And in this video I will give you an overview of how that went. So first, let me show you the result, the finished site. And is indistinguishable from the source website with the difference that here we actually have the interactive elements working, uh, the slider and then like the, the toggle for the pricing. Uh, but other than that, it's kind of identical to the source um, design. The interesting things happen in the WordPress content editor when we go and edit the page. And each website section is implemented as a custom Gutenberg block with editable um, text areas and content areas. So all the content of the website can be changed in the WordPress content editor. And then many custom blocks uh, have sub blocks that can be easily reordered, deleted or new ones can be added. Now, for example, features here. And then the pricing section even has a sub sub block. So we have pricing, pricing block. And then it contains pricing plans blocks. And pricing plan blocks contain pricing plan feature blocks. And if we add if we need a new feature, we just add and edit it. So it is very, very flexible. And we also have a very cool slider block that lets us use um, blocks as uh, slides. And all of this is also a custom block. And most of these blocks are implemented as uh, native React Gutenberg blocks. And then navigation and footer use uh, standard WordPress menus and are implemented as dynamic PHP blocks. And as well as recent post, posts uh, block is also a dynamic block because it's accessing the WordPress database to display the list of recent posts. So usually like hand coding all these custom blocks would really be a pain and would take a lot of time, uh, but not so with Pinegrow. But we'll get to that later. So then how about the site performance? The projects created with Pinegrow don't require any special plugins to run. So like here all, all these plugins are disabled. We are only using this plugin in order to support SVG images. But other than that, Pinegrow doesn't require any plugins. And most of the dynamic content is stored in Gutenberg blocks in the page, in the page content. Here we have the, the front page. So this means that the site is as quick as WordPress can be. There is no overhead. So the site loads instantly, very fast. How about network resources? Let's take a look. 
So a bit less than one megabyte is loaded and less is transferred because of the encoding. And most of these are images, about 600 uh, kilobytes. And then let's take a look at CSS. Um, disable the images. <clears throat> we only have like 42 kilobytes and, and when this is zipped, that's less than 10 kilobytes of CSS code for the whole web page. And the original Tailwind style sheet provided with the source design was more than 3 megabytes. And then luckily Pinegro comes uh, with a built-in Tailwind compiler that generates a minimal Tailwind style sheet that only contains the CSS rules that are actually used in the project. So at the end that's only 32 kilobytes or 6 kilobytes zipped. And we don't even need a default WordPress block style sheet. So that one is not loaded. And then looking at the JavaScript, we are loading Pangaro Interactions library that powers all the interactive elements such as slider and the pricing toggle. This, this includes a green sock library that, that runs all the animations under the hood. So if we wouldn't want uh, interactive features, then we would not have this as well. And of course, WordPress emojis can be disabled if needed, but here we just let them, even though they're not used. So let's take a look at how, how the, let's take a look at the project files. So project is implemented as a standard WordPress theme, as a standalone theme. So here we have uh, like uh, template files like index, PHP, header, footer. And then we have a bunch of custom blocks. And they are implemented as uh, native uh, React blocks, like with React code and, and all these control panels for editing their properties. So, in general, it's quite painful to write this code by hand, but here we didn't have to. Pangro did all the difficult parts uh, for us. So then how actually the process looks like? How, how is Pangro used to create a project like this? Pangro Web Editor is a desktop app it's a visual editor for websites that can edit HTML, CSS, SAS, and so on. And it also has the feature that lets us export these projects into a WordPress theme or plugin. And first of all, there is no need to re-implement re the source design and, and to tweak with styling to get our page builder to, to display uh, our design correctly. We just we simply take the source design like the HTML and its CSS code and then we convert it into a WordPress theme. Before starting the conversion I used Pinegro. Here we have like a design panel to update the Tailwind from version 2 to version 3 and also to use the just-in-time compiler that generates the optimized CSS code. And then to add various WordPress features, we just go into WordPress panel. And for example, here we add block action. And this defines a new custom block. And then we select elements that should be editable. And then we add block attributes action and say, okay, this is the, the title, it will edit the content, and this is the image, it will, use, it will be used as the image, and so on. And then down here, we have show posts action that in this case implements a custom query that displays a number of uh, recent posts. 
then here we say post featured image and this is post title with post link and down here in the footer we say okay this is menu showing location primary and then when we export the team Pangro generates all the PHP JavaScript files and copies them straight into our local WordPress development environment. And all the time we keep total control over the HTML layout and CSS styling. So for example, here the menu function, it uses the first HTML element as the template for menu items. And then it adds uh, WordPress menu classes and so on to this layout. So it doesn't force us to use default WordPress um, HTML markup. Instead, it adjusts WordPress to our layout. How about the interactive features such as the slider? So here I used PineGrow interactions uh, to implement the slider and the pricing toggle and mobile menu. And Pyro Interaction uses uh, Greensock library under the hood. Also includes the unlimited commercial license for everything we create with Pyro Interactions. And I'm especially happy with how the slider turned out to be. Um, here I have an example. We got a general purpose slider that can contain, that has slides, that's also our custom block. And then the slide block and contains any kind of WordPress block. So here we have cover and then we, we get a cool slider that can contain any, any kind of content, any kind of block content. So in our case, we have testimonials here, but we, we could have any kind of other content. And this slider is also reusable. We can use it on many projects, not just on this one. Anyway, how long did it take to complete this project? The whole process from start to finish took around four hours. And I recorded everything and will publish it as a step-by-step -step tutorial so that you can follow along and really get a good idea of how PineGrow is used to create WordPress projects. And of course, you can also uh, learn how to do it. So I hope this will be helpful. For me, this was uh, really a fun project and I hope you will enjoy it as well. Take care. Bye-bye.